steady hands, a keen eye, oh. and pinpoint timing, all required to hit a small disc flying away from you at 40 miles an hour. 20-year-old Emily Ferguson is about as good at this as any young woman in the country. Do you feel like when you're in your zone, mm -hmm. you could just kind of do it forever? Oh, forever. When I shot my first 100 straight, I walked off that line and I was like, dang, that was easy. For Emily, maybe. The sport at which she has become so proficient, she discovered at a high school activities fair. First, her coach had a question. Do you know which eye you dominate? It's like, I am pretty sure it's my left eye. He's like, you're pretty certain for someone who's not done this before. What makes you say that? I'm like, well, it's the only one I have, so. <laughs> Emily lost her right eye to cancer, retinal blastoma, when she was just a toddler. What she gained, though, was pluck, spirit, determination. What does it mean to you to be able to have the disability that you have mm -hmm. and be as good as you are? I think it's proof that it's not a disability. Pluck, grit, Emily Ferguson has spent much of her young life battling cancer, a second bout when she was 11, called Ewing sarcoma. Can you remember what it's like to be 11 years old and go through something like that? I remember not fully grasping what was going on. I was still at the age where like, oh, cancer, I've done that before, and like, I'm fine now, so why won't I be fine again? Why not? Alberto Papo is Emily's physician at St. Jude. She had a very, very long period of time where she was in remission from the Ewings, and almost at the five-year mark, we were actually going to transfer her to what we call ACT, which is where our long-term survivors of cancer go called after completion of therapy. But when Emily was a sophomore in high school, she knew all was not well. So I remember going downstairs to my parents' room, like, hey, something's wrong. It's weird. It's a bump. Imagine cancer three times and not get out of high school. Do you ever have why me days? Yeah. Yeah. I've had quite a few. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna pretend I haven't. Yeah. It's frustrating. I mean, I've done every genetic test that St. Jude has offered me and they say I'm fine. I disagree. At least as far as I'm aware, there's no genetic test on earth that could tell me what it is that has caused this. So as anomalies go, she is at the top of the list. Absolutely, she's an exceptional human being and I'm sure that you're familiar with everything that she has done. And every time I see her, I just get goosebumps because she's really someone that I look up to, to tell you, she's one of my heroes. As heroes go, Emily has a few of her own, especially Kim Rohde, who medaled in six consecutive Olympic games, including three gold. So we thought, maybe they should meet. Guess what? Just if you want to turn around to your left. <laughs> I wouldn't wish it for the Hi. world, girl. <laughs> Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Your story was so amazing and so incredible. You know, I, I'm here for you and we're going to have some fun. We're going to shoot some and just kind of hang out for the next couple of days. <laughs> all right, all right, sounds good. <laughs> Off to the range we went, so Kim could watch Emily in action. Kim was impressed. Nice, that was beautiful. I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, she hasn't missed one yet. I think she's doing great. She's got great form, great technique. I mean, obviously, she's had some great coaching. Doesn't get much better. In the end, we realized Emily is so good because she's found a place where she can keep cancer at bay. I think for me it's like a minute to be away from everything where it's just me, myself, and I and we're focused on one thing instead of focusing on what's coming up tomorrow, what just happened, what I'm doing later. You can't think about the rest of everything. You have to focus on what you're doing and you're not going to hit the targets. So she's now on her college trap team, right, at wow. Tennessee Southern, yeah. and this was the whole team was around that day, and you just could feel the mm. vibe, Ugh. and she's so happy to be able to be, be a part of that community, right? right? It's not, this has nothing to do with her other life. This She has this 
special place yeah. where she can be. And I'm sure it's peaceful and serene out there when you don't hear anything else. You look at it as green. Do you know what I mean? It's just right. a beautiful space. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, right? It's true, because right? Because it is that, because you get your headphones and on. And then you're just in a zone. Pop, pop, oh, I pop, can only imagine. And, and Harry, this story, it's incredible on a lot of levels, but vision is probably the most important mm. thing when you're shooting and she's doing it with one eye, one eye. and she doesn't miss you were saying. You know, it was interesting, she found out about this at her high school sort of activity fair, and she said, what? Girls can shoot? Yeah. And she, her father is a physician and a sportsman. And she said, if I do this, I'll get to spend more time with my dad. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah. Right. Wow. I want to bring in Marlo oh, Thomas, of course, the National Outreach Director for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. This is, I mean, you've been doing this now for 18 years, and these stories, they I'm just... I'm inspired every time. I, I can only imagine. I can't complain about a thing. No. And no, I want to have all the energy and the optimism of these kids. It's great. And, you know, it's very unusual for a child to have retinoblastoma and then to get Ewing sarcoma. And so our scientists thought, you know, maybe this is a genetic thing. Yeah. And so now Emily is in a program, a special program, that we have called St. Jude Family, yeah. where we're studying to see the unknown causes of hereditary cancer. But, yeah. I mean, I get so excited to meet these kids and, and see them and to learn from them. Yeah. Ewing sarcoma, is, it's, it's an especially vicious uh, form of, of cancer. Um, I, I know firsthand um, how aggressive it can be. Um, you've been doing this, as Chanel pointed out, for 18 years, Milo, and it's become really one of the highlights of Thanksgiving week here at the show. What are you thankful for? Mm. Oh, morning? what I'm thankful for yeah. is all these kids that we featured on the Today Show, they're doing well. And in Memphis right now, the kids of St. Jude are watching, and they're <laughs> all guys. excited to see their friends' stories. Uh, it's just a great day for... The children of St. Jude. How about you, Harry? Mm -hmm. On this Thanksgiving, what's Harry Smith thinking? I'll tell you what, as I spent time with her that day, yeah. I came, I thought about her every day, almost every day since. Yeah. Is this talk about being able to overcome these enormous Absolutely. odds? She's an anomaly. Yeah. Why this yeah. has happened to her all these times? And she said, I, I don't have a handicap. Yeah, right? It's not a handicap. Yeah. Uh, disabled. Well, we're well, thankful amazing. for both Absolutely. of you. Yeah. Thank you. And for all the yeah. kids who are watching this morning, I had a chance uh, to go there and, and, and walk into the hospital. And it's such a place of love and warmth yes. and, you know, just well wishes. It's just it's a phenomenal of, It's one place. of the ways you get better. You get healed by love. Uh, yeah. and, love and, and a hope. reminder to give, right? St. Jude's, yeah. like, they, they always need help. It's just How a great good reminder. Harry, the great Harry <laughs> Smith. Right? <laughs> on a holiday <laughs> morning. Say hi to Phil for Well, Marla, we're going to see her back here tomorrow. you welcome holiday. It's worth it. As we wrap up the week, we'll officially kick off the thanks and giving shopping season. And thanks to Harry as you as well. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.